Well, in this video, we're going to talk about how we can identify outcomes of an event. So we're talking about probability here. And so let's look at four definitions and then we'll look at an example. So first of all, we have some kind of experiment. Um, so the definition here for probability purposes is going to be an investigation or procedure that has varying results. Okay. Now we go a step further, we find the outcomes of the experiment. So these are the possible results from this experiment. The event now is a collection of one or more outcomes. And then a favorable outcome is an outcome of a specific event. So now let's apply these definitions to our example here. So we have a spinner on the left that's separated into six sections. Um, and then we see we have six numbers in here. So we have three, four, three, five, three, and six. So question number one says, how many possible outcomes are there? So if we look back at our definition of an outcome, it says possible results of an experiment. So we could land on this three, this four, this three, this five, this three, or this six. So we have six possible outcomes. Okay, those six outcomes are three, four, three, five, three, or six. So we have six possible outcomes there, okay? Now number two says, what are the favorable outcomes of spinning on an odd number? Okay, so this is our favorable outcome. Um, which is our specific event. If we look back at our definition of a favorable outcome, it says outcomes of a specific event. So now let's go back and look at our numbers here. Let's take our circles away and let's now circle the odd numbers. So three is odd, three is odd, five is odd, and three is odd. So the favorable outcomes of odd numbers, that would be three, that would be five, that would be three, and also three. So what are those favorable outcomes? Those outcomes are three, five, three, and three. So we have four favorable outcomes, okay? All right, and lastly it says, in how many ways can spinning a number less than four occur? All right, so let's take away our circles here from our odd numbers. And now it says, in how many ways can spinning a number less than four occur? So now let's look at our numbers here that are less than four. That would be three, three, and three, because our other two numbers are four, five, and six, and obviously those numbers are not less than four. So in how many ways can spinning a number less than four occur? That could occur in three ways. Those three ways are three, three, and three, okay? So that's a quick breakdown of what um, outcomes of an event are, what an experiment is in math, an outcome, event, and also favorable outcomes.